You may not have caught this story, or maybe you've been all over this one. In the clip here, you can see that that individual is Nex Benedict. The reason this is so big is because the media has been running rampant with this story. Nex Benedict is part of the LGBTQIA movement. And unfortunately, Nex Benedict has recently died. The media went wild with this. They blamed homophobic individuals who attacked Nex Benedict because, of course, they were against their quote-unquote gender status. You can see here, this is just one of many media sources out there. Who was Nex Benedict? Nex Benedict, the 16-year-old non-binary gender fluid student at Owasso High School in Oklahoma. I'm not going to read through the entire thing, but none to say you kind of get who this individual is. There was a confrontation that went on. So what is known about this attack? There was some so-called attack. On February 7th, 2024, Benedict and another transgender student were involved in what the Owasso Public Schools called a physical altercation. In his statement, Sue Benedict told the Independent that during the fight, Benedict was attacked by three older girls and beaten so badly that bruises formed around his eyes and hit his head against the bathroom floor. An anonymous tipster who claimed to be the other victim's mother told local news station KJRH that at one point, one of the girls was pretty much repeatedly beating his head across the floor, the tips are added. Next, couldn't walk to the nurse's station on his own, and staff didn't call the ambulance, which amazes me. Now, we've got some leaked video of Next Benedict right after this so-called attack. First off, take a look at Next in this video. Ask yourself, does this look like an individual who can't walk or get around or someone who's just been beaten to a bloody pulp or is about to die? Also, notice what Nex says about how this altercation really started. And remember, countless media companies went out and called this a homophobic hate crime. How often have we heard this over and over again about this community and these hate crimes that are supposedly occurring to later find out that it is a massive lie? At this point, I almost think that we should never believe any story that comes out on this topic until it is completely and fully vetted, which of course makes sense for any story. So let me show you the clip and you can see it for yourself. You didn't tell the school where they could actually do something. At any point during this whole situation, and I use the word, the, the, the word loosely, but the bantering or whatever it is going back and forth between you guys. Obviously, you know each other. Obviously, you both we got, don't know each other. Well, you know of each other with the vape situations and all that. Or, or... No, we before this, we had no work left. Before this ISP thing, uh -huh. we, had, we never saw each other. The freshmen were sophomore. Okay. okay. We didn't know any. Okay. No, I don't know their names. I don't know. Okay. So, so they just up and decided to just start messing with you. There was... There yeah, is... because of the way that we dress. Okay, so you didn't do anything at all at any point in time that would have, uh, even a couple days ago or even a month ago or, or anything like that. I don't know these girls. Okay, all right. So so they just continued to, to, to pick on you and pick on you. Um, then at some point, you did, what what happened? They, they got up and confronted you in class or? We were. Or did you say it was the bathroom, bathroom. or the hallway? Okay, the bathroom. We were going to stack chairs and we, after we stacked chairs, we mm -hmm. went to the bathroom. Okay. And I was talking with my friends, they were talking with their friends and we were laughing and they had said something like, why do they laugh like that? And, and mm -hmm. they were talking about us in front of us. Mm -hmm. And so I went up there and I poured water on them okay. and then all three of them came at me. Uh, you know, uh, pouring the water, because I'm, I'm trying to get this in my mind so I see, you know, as best I had I a water bottle. Thank you. That's what I was asking. Where did you, where did you get this water? Was it a cup you found? Was it your water mm, bottle? It's my, uh, your daily water yeah. bottle you'd carry around. Okay. I think it was a plastic water bottle. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so you squirted them with water, threw water on, whatever it was. Okay. Um, then at that point, what happened? Uh, they came at me, they grabbed out of my hair. I grabbed one of them. Uh, I threw one of them into a paper towel dispenser, and then they got my legs out from under me and got me on the ground, started beating the shit out of me. Okay. okay. And then my friends tried to jump in and help, but I'm, I'm not sure. I blacked out. When when did this happen today? Uh, around one. Okay, so around around lunch time. Yeah. Okay. Later that night, Nex Benedict died, but the media attributed the death of this individual to the beating that they took 
at the school. Now, first off, notice, does this person look like they received a really big beating? Does this person look like they're on their deathbed? I mean, I don't want to underplay because you could get some head injuries and possibly die later from head injuries. But next is exhibiting nothing that would look even closely related to this. And now we have the official report. We know exactly why next Benedict died. I'm going to tell you that in a second. But did you notice how this confrontation unfolded? They were in the bathroom, just hanging out, talking, whatever, their group. And then there was another group. And that other group was talking to and and, and they were supposedly laughing. Now, whether or not they were laughing at them or not, it's unclear. But Nex assumed that they were laughing at that group. And so, of course, once they assumed, they confronted them, said, hey, why are you laughing? What are you laughing like that for? What do you think? And so they're, they're causing this confrontation to happen. And then it is Nex, this individual here, who took the water bottle and sprayed it at these other people, literally taking this liquid and starting to spray it on them. The complete aggression here is 100% on Next. And what does Next say? I took one of them and slammed them into the paper towel dispenser. So now, Next sprays with water, a confrontation occurs because of this, and then slams one of them into a paper towel dispenser. At this point, obviously, you're going to have a full-on confrontation. Does the media report it like this? No. The media reports it as a complete beatdown on a non-binary person, a part of the LGBTQIA movement. And then, of course, Nex's death afterwards as a result of that beatdown, which clearly it was not. So the results are in. Nex, unfortunately, decided to take some drugs later on in the day and completely overdosed on these drugs. Nex's death had zero to do with that actual fight or confrontation. Now, is this going to stop the media from trying to say, well, wait a second, maybe it wasn't the beatdown, but Nex just felt so bad about what happened unfortunately overdosed on drugs and see it was related to that even though Nex was the provocateur here even though Nex was the one who confronted them even though Nex was the one who threw water on them Nex was the one who smashed one of them into the paper towel dispenser and Nex clearly here is absolutely fine doesn't seem that shooken up seems like is in complete control of all the faculties like I said in the beginning at this point I don't think you can trust anything related to this topic whenever there's a story of hate crime or whatever that comes out every single piece needs to be vetted before you can come to some sort of an agreement at if it's even real or reality because the entire power structure of this world the media and the governments those who are in charge are so completely biased sold out and corrupt on one side of this it doesn't make a difference they will run rampant with that story they will shove it down your throat they will tell you it's true and then when you see the footage for yourself any person with common sense or clear thinking, can look at this, put the whole picture together, and get a real understanding of how this actually all went down without any confusion. But the media will tell you, no, that's not really what happened. Let us explain to you what happened. Don't trust this video and don't trust the autopsy results. Trust what we're going to tell you about it. It's the better way to do it. What do you think about this? Leave your comments below. I'll catch you in the next video.